Goddard's to my camper. Getting to Goddard's to my camper right now. So, yeah, hopefully I get some work done today. And I just wanted to pop in here in a little bit and say that what I'm doing. I will post uh, some of the drive back maybe where I put it on my dashboard and I record it. So, this will be like a tutorial. You know, when I get so many clips that I can make a video, then I'll make a video of like how far I'm done and hopefully I can help someone else learn how to redo a camper. Because I'm learning from YouTubers, so any YouTubers out there that are doing a camper to have any advice for me, let me know. Leave it in my comments of my video. Thank you. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Y'all, hope y'all have a good day. So we're here, we made it, and uh, almost was there was a little bit of a misunderstanding. I was locked out of my camper because um, I didn't, they had to give me a new code. And then I come back here, and I did leave some things outside here, um, but those cushions, they're not mine. I don't know where they came from. Somebody put those nasty cushions on my side. I don't want them. They're not mine, so I'm not taking responsibility for those. I know my stuff that I put there. Since I'm renting this area here, I can put my stuff here. Because over there, there's a bunch of stuff like that. So this is my area. Whoever put those cushions there, better get them out of there. Because um, I don't need to throw away your garbage for you, okay? So whoever it is that threw those two cushions down there, better get them out of there. All right? It's not my junk. All right. Well, we're going to go and see my camper. And uh, at the end of the month, I'm going to put a new tire on her she'll look a little different. I haven't been here in a while. I haven't been here in a bit, in a minute. So I did so I did cut some things the other day, but now I actually have my saw here. Now I can actually cut it right. And I have all my stuff, I think. We'll see. But yeah, I just need a little help, you man. Help people. Just a little help put this wall up here. It's not a bad camper. It's a good deal. 100 bucks for it. Can't go wrong. So, I'm going to get started. I am going to get my tools. So, we'll just pause it for a minute. Okay, I brought the thing out. I'm going to have to cut a little more. It won't go in there, but I have to cut a little more from the side. And then I'll have to cut out the top here. Um, oh, yeah, wait to cut out this part there so it'll just fit right in there and then come to the top there and then I'll have to do the sides yeah I'll do it in two pieces right there but that's what it looks like without the wall so I just need someone to help me maybe put that in there like to go behind I don't want to take these out I don't want to take these boxes out so I just want to do it without taking them out. I'm going to have to put a um, whole bunch of that insulation over there. And I also have caulking. And I also have pieces of wood that I will need um, to fix anything there. See, there's a, on the corner there, there's a little rotten piece. So you just got to add another piece to it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, let's get the tools. Let's get to my tools and start sawing. I don't know. Just figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't know what this weed is, but I'm killing it. So you know what I mean? There's a weed here. A big weed. Alright. Here's my tools. I got this saw. This saw here. And I know how to put the blade in. My son showed me how to put the blade in there. And I also got my other saw. My handsaw, and I also have. Did I bring my bag? Yeah, yeah, I did bring that bag. Okay, I got my drill, and I also got my other stuff in this bag. Anything else I need? And the drill's right there. Well, that's impact drill. I don't need that. So we'll get started. I have to get my measuring tape. So we're gonna pause again. 
So I've measured it out. My first piece, I measured it out, and I'm going to cut it. So I put it out here. I measured it. Measured it twice. So hopefully that works and I have to do that. So what I found out, which I didn't remember, is that this was on top of there. So this here was here. So I put it back there. So I measured from the top of this to down here. And that's the piece that I'm cutting now. And then the side pieces and this top little piece will be on its own. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to cut that right now. So let's get cut in. Gotta set it up first. Alright. I'm gonna set my camera up here on my car. Maybe it'll work. Alright, let's set this up. Get my chair here. We're gonna put this on the chairs. Hopefully it works. Maybe we can cut it like that. Maybe we can cut it like that. Alright, let's see. We can cut it like that. Alright. I got them here. Oh, there's a will, there's a way. Alright, I'm going to first try with my hand saw first. Before I get the electric saw out. I can open it. Alright, see if this handsaw works. I don't know if it still works or if it works or not. Let's see. I know I'm standing the wrong way. Yeah, I think the, hand, the other saw will work better. Let's get the other saw. Let's put this one away. Let's get the electric, baby. Electric saw. I don't know if it's the right saw, but we will try. Maybe that is a boat coming in. Boat coming in. All right, the battery's over here, probably. Hopefully, hopefully I got the battery. Yes, it's here. I hope so. Okay, we got a battery. Okay, we're gonna put the blade in first. I realize how to put the blade in now. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, you just pop this open. You can't see the well the camera set up. And then you just pop this drill this piece in there. Into there. Pop it in. Pop it in. Close it up. It's in. Ready to saw. Let's see if this works. Okay, so we gotta put that right up against there. Okay, let's stand it up. Very 
very straight. Okay, this is awkward. <laughs> it's not going down straight. Okay. Go straight. Yeah, I can chip those pieces off. I don't know how well I'm doing, guys. I don't know how much of this I'll be recording. But here we go again. Why is it standing up? Oh well, let's just stop it. So, I'm trying to get these screws out here. Because I've already took, dug out everything that's in here, cleaned it all up, pulled out all the pieces. Now that's ready. Now I just have to take this one piece off here. If you can see it. That piece right there. I'll take that off. And this is all my wiring and stuff, so I have to be very careful over here um, not to wreck anything. So. Yeah, I wish I had it back. A shop. I, I wish I could use my shop back, but I don't know if I could start it or if it's gonna like kill my battery. If anybody knows that, if a shop back will, can you plug a shop back into a car battery? Let me know. Anyways, uh, I'm just working on this, and I just want to make a point of what I'm doing here that we didn't do last time. I thought we did. Got all the screws out, but we didn't. I won't be able to get the plywood behind here because of the screws. I have to take them out. Alright, we gotta get the skirt out and then I'm gonna come back. Alright, bye. Right now I'm gonna be cutting out this piece right here that's missing. So I, I measured from the bottom here to the top here. So I'm gonna cut that piece off because with this piece was we had to put this piece in there. It's wide enough but it's not long enough. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom there. So I'm gonna go cut out a piece like that. And on the other side is good. I might just put another piece underneath this one. The whole other piece underneath it. And just leave that one there. Alright, let's get it going. I marked it. I think it's easier to do this one. And it has the other plywood. almost perfect. Alright, let's see if it fits. I cleaned up. The floor is nice and clean. I cleaned up all the area there. The crack there where you're gonna, I'm gonna put some, some really, um, what do you have all that stuff on there. So I'm gonna put this in here. Shoot for pitch. Um, 
Never mind. I'm just going to nail it in there. But I got to get rid of these nails right here that are in the way. If we can get in there, put it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as all the holes are closed and it's not going to be like a brand new adventure. It's going to be an old new adventure. So let's go to get it. I'm not upside down now. Alright, so I've got that there. I even cut it out to be perfect. Look at that. I cut that out perfectly. I slid it in there now. It slides in there good. So now I got to take it back out and put all the uh, screw the pieces of wood on there that are that I put in there. And then um, when I'm done that, then I'm going to put that uh, that itchy stuff in there. And then I'm going to put it on. I'm going to have my first wall up. You guys, be proud of me. My first wall. Look at that. All by myself. It'll be myself. And I've been cleaning too. So it's been, I've been cleaning it as I'm going. So, I started it. Who's going to come and help me? All right. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take this back out. And then I'm going to put uh, the screws that I need in there. I got my screws over here. And I got a drill here, so I got to put some screws in. I hope these are long enough. Yeah, these will be long enough for the drywall, but I'm hoping that they're long enough for the other pieces of wood they got to do. All right, hang on, let me get the stuff together. All right, got my drill <clears throat> locked and loaded, and now I just need the screw. So we need, we got square screws, so we need the square one, let's see which one, the big square one, let's see. okay found it, alright, found it. this in there. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay, it's on. We're on. <clears throat> Alright. Now, I'm going to remove this. Remove that. I have to Take this back out, slide it out. Just turning it around is hard sometimes. I want to keep it so it's not too dark. I'm working right there. Hopefully it stays here. Okay, so now you can see what I'm doing. I just put this piece in here. Oh, that piece in the way. Let's put this piece in here just to have more support. And I put a screw in the top and then on the bottom. 
And then I'm trying to put a little piece in here so I don't have to replace the whole windowsill. And then I'm just going to use caulking. And I'm going to put one in the bottom here.
So I shut myself off, but look at that. What I've done now. And I gotta do that wall and this wall. And uh, maybe that wall. I might take all this out. May not. May or may not. I don't know yet. So at least I got some work done. It's a progress. It's a little progress. So yeah, everything should be good here. I am going to take my garbage with me and uh, maybe I'll come back tomorrow and get some more work done. Maybe I'll have some friends help me and yeah, so I'm just going to put gonna put it up here yet. A piece up in here and piece up in here and then up here and then down there and then down there and there and I'm yeah I'm gonna do up top there too because it's pretty bad looking so yeah okay hope you enjoyed this video so far I'm getting there slowly but surely I'm gonna take out go sit outside for a minute and have a cigarette all right if you want you can come out with me for a minute I just gotta sit on the ground. Oh, I have a chair here. I have a chair. Sit on the ground. Shit on the ground. It's a working progress. <laughs> Big time. Can okay, I shut it off? Right, I am done working on the camper today. I've cleaned up all of everything I had outside. Just taking a video, making sure I cleaned up everything. All my stuff is cleaned up. And uh, these two pillows are not mine. So I put them on this side, they're not mine. They, someone put them over here. And I have two chairs, a rack there. And this table here, which, you know, I'm going to put back in my camper, maybe. But uh, other than that, I don't have anything outside of this area. So I don't know whose pillows those were, but not mine. And I'm out of here now. All right, until next time, I'll see you, girl. See ya. I got, it, I got part of it done anyway. All right, we're heading home now. Heading home now. Maybe I'll videotape a little bit up the drive. I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed to do that. But what do you see? What do you see? All right, not I can see the camera. Okay. All right, we go home. Oh, maybe I'll come back tomorrow. I am starting to enjoy this. It's fun. It's been very much fun. Time to go home. Hopefully at the end of the month I get a tire for my camper. I don't want to drive all the way around so I'm just going to turn around. Hopefully nobody left nails or anything. even on. All right, we go. We go, here we go. And this reminds me of my old work. We always had to have it go through the gate when I was working at this one place. Keep it clean, I do. I keep it clean. I am very happy my camper has a place to live until I fix her up. And I don't mind paying the rent for it either. I'm sure I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. I don't even know if 
it's on anymore, but we'll see after. This here is an old uh, train train station. Part of an old train station over there. This is Goddard, Ontario. I smoke myself. My window doesn't work. My windows are not working. Well, the child lock must be left on. Oh shit, I guess I have no windows. My window is falling apart. I need a new rack for my window. Oh yeah, down here is where the train track is down here. It's down here. Well, you hear banging is my... <coughs> My door opener, because it's like my door is like right now has doesn't have the panel on it. There's the old train station. Uh, there it is. Fogging up my windows. What a noisy ride. It's gonna get smoky in the car too because I'm smoking a cigarette. Woo woo. Actually, I wanna go this way. I don't know where that takes you. I just wanna go back to the road. Back to the road. The main road. Gil. Green light, green light. Green light, green light. So I'll make a tiny video tonight of what I did today. And then at the end I will make a video of all of it on into one so then other people can know how to fix camper do. watched a lot of DIYs on campers now. I barely didn't drink my coffee even. I haven't even ate supper or lunch or breakfast. But I just wanted to get some work done. I got to the camper and they changed my password. But I got it. All was not all as well. I got my password. I got to go work on my camper when I finally got motivated. I'm so happy about that and I got one I'm so proud of myself I got one one little wall in so proud of myself did it all by myself why is those lights flashing it looks like it's gonna get a storm but I don't know I guess we just gotta slow down We get to go first. We go straight. And it's only like 10 minutes from Goddard to uh, Clinton. Only 10 minute drive. So I am. I could have went to the beach too, but I will go to the beach tomorrow when I go work on it. I want to keep working on it, and at the end of the month I'm going to get a tire. And I'm hoping that I'm only going to have to keep my camper at that place for one more month. Maybe a month and a half. And then I should be able to have it at wherever I go. Go camping. I am going to camp and camping in it this year. We have campgrounds are open now. And I can't wait. Or 
orchard line. You guys get to see my area. See Clinton, 18 kilometers. Stratford, 30, 71 kilometers. Stratford is like our like theater town, like where um, they used to have theater, make movies there. That's where Justin Beaver's from, from Stratford, which is like not far from us, like an hour. Yep. And we also have a famous hockey player from Seaforth actually, which is like on the other side of Clinton. It's another little town called Seaforth. And we actually have a, a famous hockey player from there. So 
I can't really see much there with uh, when it's dark. I have, I, I think my son has one of those uh, lights that you can hook up to your battery, but, and I do have those ones that you get from the dollar store, and you get them from the dollar store and you put like batteries in them. And I didn't bring them, I left them at home, I think. Because I was looking for them in there and they're not in there unless someone stole them out of there. And that's another thing I have to get is a lock for that thing. Because I'm not the only person that has stuff in that area. So I want to lock my camper up because I don't want to have to take everything home every day. I go work there. All the expensive tools are in my car right now until like, I take them home. Oh, I think my son's making poutine today. I think he made poutine today. That's what he was asking if I had clean grease in the fryer. And I said, yeah, I did. I just cleaned the fryer out. And so he had bought some stuff to make poutine the other day, some gravy stuff. And we got lots of cheddar cheese right now. So we're going to make poutine. And if they didn't make me any, I'll make some. I could go for a poutine right now. I haven't eaten all day, but I was busy and I didn't even think about eating. I didn't even think about smoking. I had one cigarette while I was there. One cigarette while I was there, so keeping busy is helping. Like, you know, when I'm staying busy with the tools, I can't really smoke. So that's a good thing. Almost home. So this, this little piece of land, it's coming up here shortly. Oh, my water's out. My window's getting foggy. So the land is on the right, up, on the right hand side up here. Oh, I don't know if my camera turned it around, so it might be on your left, I'm not sure. property in there. Like right in here. Like right in here. Like right in here. Like that little piece of land. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Somebody's cutting the grass there. I should like hang out here and see if uh, who owns it. I gotta find out. I gotta find out who owns that. That's a really cute little piece of land. I don't know why somebody's not living there. They do cut the grass there. Maybe they will. Maybe they're wanting to build a house there now. But I just want to like occupy it with my camper <laughs> and buy it and then own it and then you know set up a little farm or something. Get 
some chickens. And this is Clinton, Ontario. Clinton, Ontario. We used to have like bars and now the bars are all something else. These places used to be bars. One, one of the places that used to be a bar is now like an old age home. <laughs> I like that greenhouse with the yellow, that's cute. I don't even know how many people we have in this town. I didn't even look. This is if it shows you there. It shows you. But this is pretty much the town. Not much in this town. Like we have a grocery store, we have a beer store, a liquor store, you know, the normal stuff. And then there used to be another, like we used to have a Fresh Mart here. Fresh Mart's now closed and it's uh, gone to the other place. We have a few banks and some little shops on the main drag there. And it's, you know, garages, AT&T Auto. Libro, lots of churches, big houses that turned into apartments. Yeah, this is kind of like the Highway 8. If you go through town uh, in Clinton, on Highway 8. And then there's Highway 4, Highway 4, and Highway 8 come in town. So, yeah, second lights is where I am. The schools are all on the left here. All the schools, like every school that there is in this town. <gasps> Put the air conditioner on. It's cold. Home, home, home. Oh, I see a kitty running across the street there. Not my kitty. It's inside. Oh, there's a, like a stray kitty here. Look at that. It's a stray kitty. A stray kitty. Who do you belong to, kitty? See the kitty? You see a kitty? Home sweet home! Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride.